been recording now. This is the 11th grade three. And today we'll be opening unit number four called Dilemmas. And Dilemmas is what's right and what's wrong. And it's a very difficult situation we are put in. And we're gonna check first the things that we're gonna cover in this unit. First of all, uh, we'll be talking about hypothetical situations. Okay, situations are not real. And these are good because in that case, we will we'll be able to put ourselves in the shoes of that person and decide, okay, make a decision. Also, we'll be able to express wishes and apologizing and accepting apologize. Apologies, sorry. And we'll be reviewing also the first, the second, the third conditionals and some conjunctions like wish and if only, okay? Which uh, they are used to represent hypothetical situations. And also we will be expanding vocabulary related to uh, honesty and making decisions. This unit is all about that. It's a lot, it's a lot about reflecting, about uh, doing the right thing, morality, putting yourself into a different situation. So, we are now 13 people and we have connected 25. What's going on with the rest? Do you have any problems? Have you got any troubles with the connection? I'm going to send it again. Maybe some people are lost. That's a code. This is the link. Please log in. All right, let's continue with the unit. So these are the things that we will be covering in this unit. As you know and probably have seen, there are things that we have covered in the past year. So it's a review and an expansion. So first of all, we'd like to start with a question. In your own words, please answer, what's a dilemma and provide an example. That means give me an example of a dilemma, a simple one, okay? Like what's a dilemma and put it in an example, please. Quickly answer the question to continue. What's a dilemma and give me an example? Join to what's a dilemma and provide an example. I'm going to give you some time. I'll be giving you now four minutes because I've given you oh, five minutes. Is all right, let's go. Nicolas is here. So we, we should be now 20, 26. Nicolas, welcome back. Oh, yeah, you should. Pardon me. Oh, uh, it's a bit late, man. Berlin, Mr. Ramos, Constanza, Consuelo, Daphne, Daniel. Ah, Fernanda found it, I think. And Miss Lara. There you are. And Raul Sofia Valentina. Okay. Uh, what's the dilemma? Okay, good, Janela. Mm -hmm. Agree. For example, I'm gonna eat uh, healthy food or fast food today. 
that's a that's a dilemma in, the, in one sense. What about the rest? Uh -huh. Interesting, Sophia, very nice. Uh huh, Gabby. Yeah, agree. We're gonna share. We're gonna share your answers in a bit. Let's see the time. Three minutes. When you have ah, good example. Good example. Good, Annie. Yes, also it's a dilemma, yeah. You have two choices and both are difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Good, Mary. Oh, Dota, that's critical, yes. Agreed. We're gonna we're gonna have a look at those kind of situations today. Let me check on the time. One and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. A dilemma. Oh, that's a dilemma. Well, I'm in a dilemma. To be in a dilemma. And by the way, thank you for the beautiful food tray that you sent me. Thank you very much. It was beautiful. I was absolutely surprised. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Good, Martin. Good, 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 good. So we're going to open a document because these are these definitions are really good. Um, note. Give me my notes. Uh, we'll be using this one. So this is 11 grade. Uh, my cat likes to talk. It's strange. All right. So what we have? It's time. 14 seconds, 15 seconds. What about the rest? What about the rest? Ah, good, Andrew. We're going to have a look. <clears throat> uh, doo -doo -doo. Coney, no answer. Fenya, Belen, Konsu, Daphne, Misamora. Okay, time's up. Let's check. So uh, we're gonna ch we're gonna share some of the comments. It's a really nice. So we have now. Sophia mentioned it's a same it's a circumstance uh, where you have to make a difficult choice. Okay, to be or not to be. So yes, I like that expression to make a choice. Okay, so we're gonna we have now a collocation. Okay, a collocation is. Let me get it here. It okay. A collocation is when a verb goes always with uh, another word. So in this case, it's always make a decision or make a choice. It's not like in Spanish. Well, sorry, it's not like in Spanish we say uh, take a decision, right? Take a decision in Spanish. Tomar una decisión in English is make a decision. So we have our first vocabulary in this case. A collocation. Let's continue with the next one. We have this one. An example, when you have to decide to which restaurant I'm going to have dinner. Yes, that's a dilemma because sometimes you want uh, 
a certain type of food and then you would like to choose the other one. So it's a good example, perfect. Let's have another one. A dilemma is when we have two different positions in a situation, for example, choosing a vacation spot, a dilemma arises when the boy wants to go to Disney and the girl wants to go to McDonald's and the parents have a dilemma where to go. Very nice. And then we have also a definition. Good example. I like the one in the restaurant as well. I like the one on the boy. Uh, let's go to Disney World. Oh, let's go another one. Good, good, good. Uh, let's see. Mary says, difficult situation in which you have several options to choose. Uh, for example, what career am I going to study university? Well, that's a big dilemma in your life right now. That's true. So uh, I would add something here. Uh, several options to choose from, okay? Choose from. So that would be another thing is that you you choose from alternatives, right? Options. You have to choose from. That is the correct preposition with the verb choose. Uh, let's see, Andrew, uh, in a dilemma is to do the right thing, but morally wrong. Oh, ho, ho. for example, when you steal from the rich to give to the poor. Yes, okay, so we, we have something really interesting. It's to do the right thing, but morally wrong. So you are, you're going against what is moral to do. I like that idea. You're gonna see something late. And then we have Annie, a situation when there is no quick and concrete and easy solution. When you have two tests and you haven't studied anything, you don't know which test, which one to study first. That's true, that's a dilemma that you faced, uh, that you faced, okay, at least once, okay? I like that. It's not an easy or concrete solution. It's always not like, okay, I'm gonna go with that. It's always, it takes time, it's a bit slow. Konsu mentions, but you're not when you are in a complicated situation and you have two choices, but you don't know which one, best, the best, because both are, are like good, bad in some way yes both of them are controversial and they will put you into test so i agree it's not an easy choice not at all and we are faced two dilemmas daily okay at least twice in a week or at least more it's a circumstance where you have to choose circumstance uh circumstance that is the correct spelling circumstance Circumstance is a bit strange how we spell it. Circumstance. Circumstance. Okay, that would be the correct pronunciation as well. So let's use it for our vocabulary. Uh, I like this word actually. Circumstance. Circumstance. A bit different from Spanish. And then we have uh, Janelas. We mentioned Janelas and then we mentioned Miss Belen. Yes, it's a circumstance. It's a difficult situation, Gabby where you choose between two equally bad or good options. Yes, two equally bad. And that's the problem, that both are kind of equal. Uh, like, I mean, the consequences look kind of a bit similar and both are difficult to, to make. And uh, for example, here, our student, our lovely student, Dota says, the lifeboat dilemma. This is a famous dilemma in which there are only 10 spaces in a lifeboat but there are 11 passengers and in a sinking ship. A decision must be made about who will be left behind. This is a very, very good example. Who do we save? Or who do we left behind? Is it the old? Is it the young? Usually people go and save, save the kids, save the ladies. What about the old? Okay, sometimes you in movies. That's why movies are so interesting because it's continuously they continuously put you into the dilemmas. And then finally, we have a situation with several of alternatives. Yes, and and puts you into trouble because each one of them is good. It can be each one of them is bad, like consummation as well. Okay, and I'm gonna add this one. All right. So here we have a lot of things that you have written and that I liked a lot and will be useful for our unit. All right, let's continue then.
65% participation. I don't know what happened with Coney, with Javi, Pedreros, with Miss Faundes, Miss Daphne, Miss Valesamora. Please let me know in the comments or in the chat. All right, let's continue then. All right. So I'm going to put you a dilemma. That's uh, very, very short. Uh, let's have a look at it. Uh, no. I'm going to go back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, this is a dilemma. It comes from a meme. And the dilemma is the following. Uh, but first, let's think of it. What do you think is happening here? What should be, what is the dilemma? In your own words, please, people. What do you think here is the dilemma? What's going on? Let's see, let's see first what's going on. That would be the first question. What's going on in this picture? Who can describe this picture? Anyone? What's going on in the picture? Uh, can you see the picture, by the way? See, teacher. Okay, so who can, who would like to mention what's going on in the picture? What, what can you see? That he deceased his partner? Okay, so we have another word here. To deceive. To deceive means to, to fool someone, okay? Okay, uh, kind of to cheat. Some people are, are deceitful, okay? They are very good with lies. So to deceive is to fool another person. In this case, that's not the best word, Martina. The word that you want is to cheat, okay? So to cheat on someone, okay? So it's to be, to be unfaithful to your love partner, partner. That's the word you need, Martin, in this case. Anyone like speaking in English? All right, that's a dilemma. That's a dilemma. How would we put it in English, Javier and Martina? Because Martina and Javier had good ideas. Okay, let's put it into words here. I'm going to take Javier and Martina's words. So. Uh, so we can see couple, right, holding hands, and the male or man turns his head or turns, wait, uh, yeah, 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 turn turn turns to look at another woman another woman while his girlfriend is watching we assume that i'm going to tell you what Javier says that he wants to be or he wants the other woman so we consider it like cheating okay cheating okay the question is uh we know the dilemma now uh, we have a couple and the dilemma was to look or not to look probably to look and not to look. He decided to look. In this case, looking at the other girl and she's partner, <coughs> we can see her face, is not happy. And the thing is that some people would consider looking at other person in the street while being in a in a in a relationship 
to be to cheat, right? They will consider it to cheat. Some others would say, I'm just looking, just looking, just observing uh, beauty or whatever. So what do you think? Do you guys think that looking at other person while you are with your partner is considered cheating or not? That's my question. Is this considered considered cheating? Right. Is this considered cheating? People? What do you think? Tampoco calladito y bien, eh? No, 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 es que es que no, pensar que por mirar a alguien en la calle ya estás engañando a tu pareja. no, sé si ni si, si a veces la, las personas ni siquiera conocen a esa, a esa persona que están mirando. Es como, además, a la, si es que realmente es una persona bonita, a todos les llama la atención. Ay, es bonito, no sé. Como que por algo son bonitos y por algo llaman la atención. Entonces, no sé, como que uno siempre mira para atrás o lo que sea. Okay. I said pretty things like in general, it could be a lake, it could be the ocean, including people. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Attractive. All right. Konsu gave her opinion. No, sometimes you don't even know the person you're looking at. And usually these people we look are attractive. And we look at pretty, and we like to look at pretty things. Oh. The gesture, but as close to say, it's silly to think that you're cheating just by looking at it. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. I like that. Very nice. There's another thing here. Please keep on commenting, Mary. What do you think, Mary? Martina says the gesture, but as Consu says, that's good. It's silly to think that you're cheating on her just by looking at her. That's true. That's true. And I, I'm 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 really glad that you think like that. But also, there is another portion of the world of people that would consider that looking at another person while you are with a partner in the street is considered cheating. Mm -hmm. so I totally agree with you guys. Also, there is another part of the world. What do you think, uh, Mary? Is that cheating? No. No? No. Anything to add? Uh, because, like, if you're just looking and don't do anything bad, that means that you're not cheating. And, like, we have eyes for something. Uh -huh. Okay, if you're not, if you're just looking and not doing anything wrong, then it's fine. Eyes are or looking okay yeah like if you don't feel that you're doing something wrong that that is the thing mm -hmm. agree 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 have you uh, this is a bit more personal though um have you ever been with a with a with in a relationship i mean i know you're young but probably you have had relationships before so have you ever been in a relationship and maybe not in this is the same situation like being with the person next to you but have you ever been into a relationship and look at another person like ah oh, that's cute she's cute she's cute have you been in that position yes no yes no Probably not. Okay, let's continue then. So you have given me nice ideas about the thing. Okay, let's continue then. 
Uh, what we're going to see now is another dilemma. And this one is a bit similar to the one that Miss Antonia mentioned. All right, can you see the video? Yep. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, let's have a go. Uh, me avisan cualquier cosa. Ya, si no se reproduce, si le pasa algo para cambiarlo al lado. Let's go. Ah, oh, sorry, in the volume. All right, let's kick it. Let's see what's going what's going on with this dilemma and maybe we can talk about it. <laughs> the trolley problem. A trolley is well, is one of the cards. It's like a card from a train. It's one of the cards of a train. And trolley, well, in Valparaiso they're a trolley, okay? They go around the city and in, in some big cities. I don't know if, if in Finland you found trolleys in the city. Mary? Uh, yep, more in like big cities. Though. Big cities. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more in big cities, and they usually are used in short, short distances. Okay, trolleys. All right, let's see what's going on with this dilemma. A runaway train is heading towards five workers on a railway line. There's no way of warning them, but you're standing near a lever that operates some points. Switch the points, and the train goes down a spur. Trouble is, there's another worker on that bit of track too, but it's one fatality instead of five. Should you do that? Many people think the right thing to do would be to switch the points, to sacrifice one to save five, since that produces the best outcome possible. Now imagine the train heading for the workers again. This time it can only be stopped by pushing a very large man off a bridge. His great bulk would stop the train, but he'd die. Should you do that? Most people say no. But why not? Both thought experiments are cases of sacrificing one to save five. What the trolley problem examines is whether moral decisions are simply about outcomes or about the manner in which you achieve them. Some utilitarians argue that the two cases are not importantly different from each other. Both have similar consequences, and consequences are all that really matter. In each case, one person dies and five are saved. The best option in each harrowing situation. But lots of people say they would switch the points, but they wouldn't push the man off the bridge. Are they simply inconsistent, or are they on to something? All right. So let's have a go. Should the other worker on that? Okay. In your case, what would you do? Would you change the rails, okay, to save these fine people, right? To just kill one, sacrifice one. Uh, or would you just leave the train as it goes? We have two options now. What would you do? Mientras menos personas mueran, mejor. Okay, so Andrew and Mary would change the rails just to sacrifice this one. This worker. Okay, okay. this worker. Anyone else? The same. What about Gianella? What about you? Would you do the same? Sí, no mismo. Cambiaría el riel. Okay, okay. And that bit of track too. But it's need to switch the points to sacrifice one, waiting for the workers again. This time it can only be stopped by pushing a. Okay, Consuelo. Now we have three options. Moving the rails or shifting the rails and sacrifice one to save five, or you can push a big large man to stop the train and save six people. What would you do? We'll be the same. We'll be the same, are you sure? But you ah. will kill one, so why add another pe pe like person if so you can just kill one? You kill one and you're saving six, right? Anyways. Yeah. Yeah? Like if we don't add the other person, we, we save five. So why add the other person? Like the sixth person? Just and what, kill what, the first one. And what about the form of, of doing it? Like changing the rails and pushing a, a man from, from the bridge. Well, if the man wants to... 
if the man wants to work, like, like jump off the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say that it might be, but it's really unlikely to happen because here the man, this man is giving him a push, right? Giving him a push. Uh, I think I would also go for that one, like maybe sacrifice one to save the other five. What about you, Nico? What do you think? Thank you, Mary. Nico? Mm. Okay, Nico. What about you, Sofia? Pero y la pala? Hay una pala ahí? Y como que... My uh -huh. very, very large man off a, off a bridge. So maybe there's another option in this case, okay, which is to use the shovel, okay? Maybe. Pero using... según yo la... Eso es como para cambiar el tren de... No, but this one, this one. Pero si queremos salvar a las, a las seis personas o a las cinco personas que están ahí, tenemos que sacar la pala para que pase por el otro lado. La pala. La pala. Esa pala, ¿no? Sí, esa pala, esa pala. ¿Esa pala la tenía el caballero o tú ahí siempre? Ah, siempre estuve ahí. Es que si se cae la pala, ¿no? Igual va a ir para uno de los dos lados. Va a ir para acá. Oh, y a menos que cambies, va a ir para el otro lado. We always think about the, the a certain closed amount of options. But what if, okay, this person changes the, the rails and then you will have more time to tell this person move. Well, these people will say, move away, and maybe that person can be saved. Whereas in the other case, if you don't move the rails, these people are closer, so they will probably die faster. So maybe there is another option, uh, which is not mentioned, but maybe we can think of, we can think of it, how to save them. Just, just like the, the problem that Tota mentioned. Okay, Nico. Oh, you should sleep, man. All right, let's continue that. Okay, so with it, with this uh, dilemma, is one of the many that we're gonna see, not today, but in other classes. I'm gonna change now to the book. I'm here on the page 38, and uh, just like the unit's name, uh, we have here a definition of dilemma. Let's see if it is, if it gets close to what you guys said. So a dilemma is a situation uh, in which a difficult choice has to be made. Very nice. Okay, has to be made. That is a passive. And we're going to include in our vocabulary that decision has to be made. I like that. Has to be made between two or more alternatives. Uh, it's not mentioned whether the alternatives are good or bad. So the alternative can be, I mean, whatever. But we know that can be both good or both bad, and usually are both bad, like in the situation we mentioned. Hey, people, we have some pictures. Uh, what about, can you mention quickly what's going on here in A? What's the dilemma, what's the situation? What's happening first? What's going on? Quickly, let's go. What's going on? Uh, what's going on, uh, Mr. Figueroa, Felipe? Uh, actually, you can also, Martina, you can, you can, you can cheat on a test too, okay? It's not to copy, you don't copy in the test, you cheat on the test, okay? So it's the... Yeah, yeah, to cheat, to cheat on a test. So who, who can explain what's going on, please, in English. In picture A, 
We have many people. Let's see. Uh, let's go Tota. Tota. Okay, Tota's not here. Okay, let's go to the coding. What's going on? Consu? Creo que ya lo había dicho y no me pescó, así que. No sé. Pero Consu, es que no se escuchó para nada. No se escucha. Ahora te escucho bien, pero no se escuchó ninguna voz. ¿En serio? Sí, por eso, por eso estaba preguntando. Ah, había dicho. Se, se me escucha, es que no, no sé si me detecta el audio en el computador. Mira, ahora te escucho súper bien, te estoy escuchando súper bien. Ya dije que, que está, está haciendo trampa, o sea, he's cheating. Ok, he's cheating on the test. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I, need it, I need it in English, no, no in Spanish. Good. So he's cheating on the test. And uh, what's the dilemma? Que realmente no hay dilema ahí, o si está mal, o no. Yeah, but we have, you, you guys, you, I mean, the dilemma could be, could be hers, right? She has two options, whether she says, oh. what's the dilemma you may have? Um, um, <laughs> She could let oh. him copy his, uh, her test. Okay. Or, Let, mm -hmm, yeah. Or tell the teacher. Tell the teacher. Yes, good. So she's in a dilemma. Tell the teacher or let him uh, kind of cheat. Okay. Or let him get the answers. Yes. Copy is not like copy. Copy is like a copy when you copy something like a material. When you photocopy those kind of things but let him get the answer yes so usually when this happens when people cheat and test uh the easy part is kind of this one right this is the easy part which is copying although i know it's like a ninja sometimes but at the same at the same time the dilemma is here right do i tell the teacher or do i keep quiet good uh what about this one and console, I'm sorry, uh, I think there is a problem with microphone or when you mute, I don't know. But good job. Okay, let's continue with another person. Thank you, Konsu. Uh, Gabby, what's going on here? And B, please. And thank you, Fabi, as well. Uh, what's going on in B? What's the situation? But can you use English, please? Uh, she's um, pointing. Pointing to something. Pointing at something, and there is a money machine with with what? money with money there is a money machine with some money or cash in it so what's the dilemma to take or not to take the money to take the money or just continue walking to take it not to take the money good all right and uh what about this one what about this guy Uh, let me call. Pues tienen que crear lista de participación porque es muy difícil. Raúl. Raúl. Sí, profe. Yeah, what's going on here? What happened? En C. ¿Dónde? En letter C. Here, this one. Mm. 
rompió inglés he he broke break a uh, this is a, it could be this one could be a pot a flower pot or maybe it could be a vase i don't know it could mm. be a a bus, okay. Okay, okay. See, he broke a vase. So, what would what what would the dilemma be in this case? Okay. What would the dilemma be? Okay, collect the remains of a broken vase with a ball, or leave it and pretend nothing happened. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Javier. Yes, we have the answer here. So. Good Raul, he broke a vase. That's true. He can, he has two options, like collect the remains of the vase, la propiedad, and make it, I don't know, and assemble again. He could say nothing happened, or it was a dog, or he could tell mom or dad, like, hey, I broke a vase because I was playing football. Okay. Thank you, Tota. Good. Thank you, Javi. All right, let's have a look now. So this picture probably will talk about something in the text. Let's have a look quickly. And what we have is a short quiz, okay? Okay, we have the pictures. We're gonna read part of the quiz and then we're gonna match them. All right, here we go. What would you do in this case? What would you do if, because these are personal, okay? You guys choose one. What would you do if you heard a text message arrive on your girlfriend's or boyfriend's phone when he or she was out of the room? You wouldn't open it or you would read it and pretend you hadn't. Okay, we have one of the two. This is a secret quiz for you. Two, what would you do if you found a hundred euro in a cash machine outside the bank? You would go into the bank and give it to someone who worked there. Or you would keep it and buy yourself an, something nice. We're talking 100 euro. It could be like 120,000 pesos. It, it's a good money. Number three. What would you do? Would you, If you noticed your teacher had made a mistake marking your test and giving you a better mark. Oh, I thought myself giving you a better mark. So you would tell your teacher about the mistake immediately or you wouldn't say anything. Next one. If you broke your mom's vase while playing football in the house, would you own up and say it was it was you? Own up. Como admitir. Que buena, que buena, que buena phrase of la obra acá. To own up. And, the error. and say it was you, or you would say that the cat did it. Uh, yo creo que dicho esto. <laughs> yeah, you would, you, if you bought the shirt, wore it to a party once, and decided you really didn't like it, <laughs> would you give it to a friend, or you would take it back to the shop and say you never, that you'd never worn it and get your money back? Uh, six, if there was a party that you really wanted to go, but you thought your parents might not let you go, your parents say, would say no, probably, and you want to go, you would be open, tell them why you wanted to go and accept their decision. Or you would say you were staying at a friend's house, go to the party anyway, and hide the truth from your parents. And seven, you were stuck in a difficult math test and you noticed that you could easily copy from a friend's paper. You wouldn't look, you would just try harder to get the question yourself and you would look at the paper. And eight, if you didn't have enough money for a full price cinema ticket, you would leave and go home or you would lie about the age and try to get a cheaper price. <laughs> no way. What would you do, people? I 
voy a ver si es que les puedo tirar votación, a ver. Eh, no, no les puedo tirar votación mientras grabo. grabo. Así no va. Ok. If you have more A's than B's, you're basically honest person. And you understand that if you always tell the truth, people will trust you. And more B than A's, sometimes you take the easy way out. Another expression. You take the easy way out. What's that? Take the easy way out. Be careful because it may cause you problems. You don't want people to think as you as dishonest. What would be that thing, that expression, to take the easy way out? Tomar el camino fácil, yes. Dishonest. Okay, very nice. Mm, let's match with the pictures. Uh, which which of these questions or situations goes with the picture number one? Which number? Which of the situations go with the picture? Yes. Seven, yes. Uh, what about the, the thing in the bank, the money, the cash? Another. Number two, cash machine, they call it cash machine, cash machine. And what about the broken vase? La Number four, yes. So uh, in British English, they call it vase, and in American English, they call it vase, vase. Uh, four, I think, yes, it should be good. Yeah, all right, easy peasy. Seven, two, and four. Seven, two, and four. Okay, so just a bit of conclusion because I really want to ask them some questions. Is that we're gonna match the, we're gonna see again the, um, the questions from the quiz and then we have here some answers. So, for example, for number one, you heard a sex message arrive on your girlfriend's or boyfriend's phone and when she was or he was out of the room. What would you do? Which of these answers seem to fit in that question, in that situation? Which of these answers seem to fit? Letter E. Letter E, I would ask him or ask her what it was about. Yes, what was about. Like, hey, you got a text message from, I don't know who, who's that? Okay, ask, all right, that's good. Now let's see the other one. It says, uh, you found a hundred euro in a cash machine outside a bank. Which answer looks nice to it? Large. Yes, I'll spend some money and give it, and the rest give it to charity. What's charity? Caridad. Caridad. Yeah, yeah. What would you do in that case? People, I'm curious. What would you do with the money? Buy some clothes or something that I would yeah. have. Buy something? Mm -hmm. Something nice? What about you, Andrew? What would you do with the money? Lo mismo. Yeah, same. And what about you, Janela? I'm curious. Would you give it back or would you spend the money? No sé si es que está ahí al lado del banco, yo sí lo devolvería. Pero si me lo encuentro ahí en la calle, me lo llevaría. Martina, what would you do? No sé, mucha presión. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the cameras. Uh, Martina, what about you? Haría lo mismo que la Yane. Uh -huh. uh, Danny? 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 Okay. No answer. Uh, number three. You notice your teacher had made a mistake while marking your test and he has given you a better mark. What's the, what's the best one? Uh, 
la B. I'll keep quiet, make sure it worked. Make sure I worked really hard for my test. All right. Okay, what would you do? Porque yo sé que les ha pasado alguna vez, o si no, alguna vez les va a pasar. ¿Qué harían ustedes? ¿Se quedan, se quedan callados? No, no dicen nada. Así como, típico, pero que en le contaban los puntos y finalmente te puede decir, ah, que en realidad te conté mal en menos nota. Alegar, alegar. Alegar. Yo siempre le digo, profesores, cuando me pusieron algo, algo bueno y estaba mal. Ah, ya, bien, bien, ya. Creo pero, que una vez alguien lo dijo, pero, o sea, me dio risa porque alguien lo dijo. Y no sé, no me acuerdo si fue con el profe de Córdoba que, que dijo, ya, está bien la honestidad, pero igual le voy a bajar el punto. <risa> es, que, es que igual es justo, está bien que fue honesto, pero claro. no merece pero el puntaje. Sea. Ah, a lo mejor premiarle con otra cosa, no sé, porque es un chocolate, no sé, como un desayuno. <risa> pero la nota es otra cosa, ¿no? Sí, que no le ha pasado, a mí igual no le ha pasado. Que voy a decir y me baja la nota. Y quité. Oh, sorry. Uh, next one. Uh, this one. You brought, you bought a shirt. No, sorry. You broke your mom's vase while playing football in your house. Right. Oh. La. Yes. Uh, a uh, I try to fix it before she not yes but then it looks terrible so it's not a good idea I'll, I wouldn't recommend it just tell your mom mom I broke the vase that's it uh, you bought a shirt you wore it to in a party once and you decided you didn't like it that's it all right get in with this would you would you give it back Or would you just give it to another person? Would you take it back or give it to another person? Ah, you would save it. Okay, maybe for later, maybe later you would like it. Okay, what about what about you, Mary? I'm curious. Would you give back that beautiful dress or whatever it is? Or would you give it to a friend if you don't like it anymore? Lo vendería, yo creo. Huh? That's an option. Yeah, you sell it. Yeah, that's a good option. What about you, Sofia? I will give it to a friend. You will give it to a friend. Uh -huh. They probably probably like it. Mm -hmm. Good, good plan. Miss Vale Zamora, are you here? Yes. Yes. What would you do with the Well, that clothes, would you take it, take them back to the retail store or would you give them to a friend? Or would you sell them? There are many options. Put it in Yapo. Miss Valley Samara, anything? No? No vale, no te escucho. Como que hablaste y desapareció. But anyways, all right. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Um, there was a party you wanted to go, but you thought your parents might not let you go. What about that? Number six. La G. G. I'll have an argument with them about it. What's an argument? Discussion. Yeah. It is to have an argument. That is expression. Uh, to have, uh, see, use, talk. And finally, we have two more, and that's. And you were stuck in math and you noticed that you could easily copy from a friend, copy from your test, 
from a, from your friend. La de. La de. D. I wrote, I write my own answer, but then, but then look at the paper two. <laughs> okay, and then I uh, didn't have enough money for a full price cinema ticket. El último que quería hecho. Esta era eight. DPC. También en realidad, sí, a ver cómo lo pongo. Uh, number one. Number one, E. Number two, H. Number three, B. Number four, A. Number five, C. Number six, G. Number seven, D. And number eight, F. Right. Good. All right, done. So, just to quickly move on. I would like to ask some last questions uh, to you guys. Okay, are these situations happening to you right now? I wanna. But right now, are these situations happening to you right now? It's not about your experience in the past, but. If you were put gorilla in this situation right now, are these situations real or imaginary? Real. Are they real? Like they can happen to you? They can happen, good, they can happen, but they are not real now, right? Aren't they? They may happen, I agree. They may happen, and uh, obviously, they are not happening now. So we are talking about imaginary situations in which they may happen, but they are not happening now. So what would you do? It's like they put you into the shoes of these people, but you are not them. So what would you do if you had the chance to choose? So we are talking about hypothetical situations in the present. What would you do if you found money on the street you don't have the money now there's no money in the street but what would you do if you were on the street and see some cash uh, right for your taking that is the idea did you get the idea yep did you get the point okay goody 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 all right people so just start closing thanks Ah, come on. I'm curious about two more one. What about this one? To finish. You really want to go to a party and you probably you probably know that your parents will say no. What would you do? Would you talk to them or would you escape or lie? Talk to them. Really? Sorry? I will talk to them. And you would talk to them? Okay, you would talk yeah. to them. You would talk to them. What about you, Kunsu? Would you... It's a big party. Okay, you really want to go party about I don't know what, but... Will you talk to your parents? Probably say if no. I know they're gonna say no. I I won't uh, ask. You wouldn't. You wouldn't ask. Okay. You wouldn't ask. Es que si you wouldn't. You wouldn't insist. No, porque nunca nunca he sido así de insistir con mi papá. Entonces. Ah. You, you kind of know you where where to push or not to push good and uh, that's good and what about you mary would you would you insist lie about or would you escape um, i will insist because uh, my mom really trusts me so i don't want to broke his trust uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's a good, good if answer. i like talk probably she will like if you give probably your reasons, probably she won't understand. So you don't want to break someone, someone's trust. In this case, break your mom's trust. 
good. That's another good expression that we may have today. Alrighty, people. So uh, we have dealt today with some hypothetical situations, okay, some dilemmas, which are not happening to you now, but if they happened, you would make or you wouldn't make certain decisions, okay? So it was a pleasure to be with you today. Uh, I will, I would probably leave you a bit of a homework in Google Classroom, very simple, just answer some dilemmas, very simple, nothing complicated. Uh, I'm gonna try to put this homework bef after the parents meeting. So please do it before next class and please tell your parents that today we have parents meeting at seven, okay? See you. Okay, excellent. Please, please, please. Uh, well, again, thank you for the uh, for the food tray. It was it was great. Thank you for the, the the people who said hello on the Teachers' Day. Big hugs, and you are great. All right. Anything else? 